This animation shows the pathology of Achilles tendinopathy following the continuum theory. First we will begin by looking at normal tendon structure. The Achilles tendon is a viscoelastic tissue, deforming up to 10% of its length during high load activities such as running and jumping. The Achilles tendon stores and releases energy as part of an energy saving mechanism. We'll now look at the key components of the tendon at a cellular level, beginning with the tenocytes, which produce the important contents of the extracellular matrix, including the collagen fibrils and the proteoglycans. In between the collagen fibrils, you can see the small green dots, which represent the proteoglycans known as decorin. And the extensions of the decorin are the glycosaminoglycan chains, or the GAG chains, which maintain the viscoelasticity of the tendon. When the tendon is subjected to load, the space between the collagen fibrils is said to reduce. This increase in internal pressure, coupled with repetition, may be a factor for the onset of tendinopathy. The first stage of the tendinopathy continuum is referred to as reactive tendinopathy. The tenocytes are reported to change shape as a result of mechanotransduction. This increases their production of larger proteoglycans known as agrocan, hydrophilic proteoglycans which imbibe water. The increased fluid content within the extracellular matrix is thought to be the reason why the collagen fibrils part and the tendon is seen to thicken in symptomatic patients. Stage 2, tendon disrepair. The tendon in the disrepair stage will remain hypercellular while structural changes begin. These mainly include type 3 collagen production and the growth of neovessels into the cellular matrix. Stage 3, degenerative tendinopathy. A degenerative tendon has undergone permanent structural changes and less cellular activity is often seen. This often results in less pain and less reporting of symptoms. Type 1 collagen is often replaced with more type 3 collagen, making the tendon somewhat weaker and less able to tolerate tensile force. These structural changes are reported to be permanent and leave the tendon more susceptible to rupture.